The Scarp Laser Razor seemed too good to be true. It was billed as the first laser-powered razor to give you a close shave without irritating your skin. The project raised $4 million on the crowdfunding site Kickstarter. But after the internet exploded with cries of scam, Scarp never got a cent. It was just taken down, gone, and then we got an email saying that we're taking it down because our prototype didn't meet the criteria that they have for the prototype. Kickstarter said the project was in violation of our rule requiring working prototypes of physical products that are offered as rewards. It had become a, a trench war between some people who really liked it and some people who were determined that this, this is a scam. Scarp tried to prove it had a prototype in this video, but critics weren't convinced. And nobody outside of the company could vouch for it. So I went to see for myself whether the laser razor was real. Can't cut through this many at once right now, not with this fiber. But I see them burning individually here and there. At Scarp's lab in Southern California, the co-founders showed me how the laser cuts hair without burning your skin. It's an effect called frustrated total internal reflection, where the laser beam travels along the length of the fiber and only escapes when it hits a hair. At any point along that wall you touch, light will leak out. And then as soon as you take away the hair, light goes back forward. The co-founders say they also found a wavelength to cut all hair colors. Normally, lasers can only cut dark hair. But to keep their findings secret, they asked that we use a camera filter to disguise the color of their laser. See a few of these falling away as I brush across the surface, and I can smell a little bit of smoke coming up my nostrils, too, as it's burning through them. As you can see, the prototype cuts one hair at a time. Not terribly effective if you want to shave off a beard. In the next version, the company aims to have the razor shave five to ten hairs at once. And right now, you can't run the razor along your skin to get a close shave. On the prototype, the fiber that acts as the blade is fragile. It's attached by hand. That's right, right. and as it hangs here, between those two points where it's very likely mounted, then uh, it's enough you hit a little bump in the skin, you break it because it's very, very, very brittle. Okay. Whoops, and broke the fiber. That's why the company says it needs the funding, to get the right fiber and mount it properly, which requires machinery. And we know how to mount it in a rigid support so it doesn't break. We spoke to an optical fiber manufacturing expert who told us that sounded feasible. The company did manage to raise $400,000 on another crowdfunding site, Indiegogo. So what does Gustafsson have to say to Kickstarter now? I would tell them, th thanks for all the publicity, and there is always a tomorrow. When will we know for sure if the laser razor can really shave? Scarp says it'll ship to backers in March 2016. Skeptics might say that's cutting it close. In Irvine, California, Sean Hollister for CNET.